my brothers and sisters, you are listening in the background, the sound of the shofar, and you know this is the season. Hallelujah. When the Lord is saying unto us to practically listen to the call of righteousness, listen to the call of holiness. And in this presentation that we are doing, you are going to listen to it again on October 10th. Because you know October 10th will be the 15th day of the seventh month, the 15th day of the month of Edernim. When we are, uh, hallelujah, starting the Feast of Tabernacle. <laughs> My brothers and sisters, the Lord wants you to enjoy this one, to enjoy this feast with Him, and to celebrate as we read in, uh, in Numbers chapter 29. We've been reading that a lot lately. In Numbers chapter 29, the Lord said, you know, when we start with verse 12, celebrate a festival for seven days to the Lord. And he want us to present as an aroma pleasing unto him a food offering. That means give him something to eat. During uh, a uh, Yom Kippur, we offer God something to eat. But he said, you know what? In the celebration that you are going to do for seven days, you are going each day give him something to eat you can review this scripture for yourself hallelujah in numbers 29 verse 12 to 40 and you will see all what you know offering was offered to god each day hallelujah and the lord wants you to do the same hallelujah and you know we have seven sacrificial offerings Amen. You can give one sacrificial offering for his day, you know, if you would like. Because when you do that, you are saying to Jesus, you are my lamb sacrifice. I do not need to go to hell because you went to hell for me. This is the purpose of this season in remembrance of your salvation. He's saying thank you to God for Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you to God for Jesus. And, and the Lord said, once you do that, come and celebrate with me. Come and celebrate your blessing, the blessing that is coming your way. Revelation is already ongoing, my brothers, my sisters. I do not know when the Lord will allow me to start expounding on what I have received so far. But I must tell you, it could be next week that I come next Sabbath, that I come with, hallelujah, uh, the revelation for 5784, which contain, you know, the prophecies for 2023 and a part of 2024. Amen and amen. God is a forward God, hallelujah. And it was so amazing, I can tell you. The Lord woke me up around 2.30 and he said, you know what, I'm ready to talk. And I said, you're ready to talk. I said, start talking. And, uh, you know, I wake up, you know, I, I, I made my coffee and, and I said, I am ready to receive. And in a matter of minutes, the Lord birthed out prophecies. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. For the people who think God is like uh, something that come out of your mind, somebody's mind. You know, it's a big lie out there. It's not. God is. God exists. And God is speaking. If you can allow yourself to enter this experience, 
Let me tell you what's going on right now. When God said, you know, I'm going, I'm going to descend, you know, from heaven and to descend on earth. <laughs> you know, and have tabernacle with you. You take, you know, uh, it's not true. That's something that is written. God practically, like this morning, I wake up. It was like close to three o'clock. And, 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 and I heard, good morning. <laughs> I said, oh my God. <laughs> and I was lucky the Lord allowed me to sleep. <laughs> because I know God, you know, when he wants to talk, he wants to talk. You know, the body is weak. <laughs> but, uh, you know, the spirit never sleep, you know. <laughs> you know, the spirit allowed the body to sleep. Because otherwise you will crash. I learned that the hard way when I started prophecy, you know. And, uh, you know, God said, good morning. I said, oh my God. <laughs> what I'm hearing here. And, you know, he said, you know, you are going that, that route with the message. You know, just present unto them the importance of the Feast of Tabernacle. My brothers, my sisters, you know the scriptures already. You can read it, Leviticus 23, for yourself, talking about uh, the Feast of Tabernacle in Numbers 29, for yourself. You know, I don't have to tell you, present an offering, honor the Lord. You know you have to do it. And this is how you pre-call the heart of God. Remember I told you last week, a contrite heart. The Lord will not despise. And a broken spirit. Allow your spirit to be broken. I allow your heart to be contrite. I know you are living in a generation of unbelievers. If you act like you believe, you look like, uh, you know, you know, you know, is the foolish things that the Lord give importance to confound the wise. Amen and amen. And they will know. And they will bow. Because the Lord said, every mouth shall confess <laughs> that Jesus is Lord. <laughs> that God is. <laughs> you know, yes, they will get to that corner of life. And they will testify, there is a God. I wish I live my life differently. You don't want to be in that position, my brother. You don't want to be in that position, my sister. This occasion, what it is, it is a call to repentance. To change your ways. To change the way you are living. And to accept God. To accept his plan of salvation. What is a plan of salvation? You imagine this season is to enrich you, not to enrich you spiritually only, but you know, to enrich you in a way that you know you will tap into the bounty of heaven. What are you saying, praying apostle? Yes, this is the time when God is doing a selection. You have been chosen as Christian, but have you been selected to receive his favor and to receive his blessing? Look at what I'm saying to you. It is October. Now God is pronouncing blessing and curses that will fall on the people of the earth in 2023. My God, my God. When I'm going to say something, you know, presenting the prophecies unto you, guess what? I will start really by telling you, if you are right, you have nothing to fear. 
If you are unrighteous, guess what? You want to be blessed? You don't want to be cursed? Repent. Repent. Change your ways. You know, start messing up people's lives. You know, start destroying your own, your own friends. The people that God gave you. That, that God place around you for you to be a good example of righteousness and you are not a good example of holiness and you are not my brothers, my sisters we must take this opportunity during the feast of tabernacle to change to evolve you cannot Stay in that good life that you are doing without instruction and forfeiting your life and the lives of your children, of your descendants. This is what is it all about. God is trying to gain a family. Is welcome you to the family of God. Now, you belong to the devil because you are doing the devil's bidding. And the devil doesn't offer you nothing but trouble, but destruction. But you have a God that is offering you not only salvation from death, from the grave, from sin, but a good life, a good life of uh, blessing, a life of, of joy. God is offering you a life of joy. How are you going to take advantage of it? How are you going to say to God, I believe in you. I believe in your plan. Look at what the Lord said. Three times a year. We will read that in Deuteronomy 16. None of you should come to me empty ended. You imagine the Lord said, give me something to eat. Give me some food to eat. But you are going to eat every day. But God said, give me some, some food to eat three times a year only. Three times a year. No man, no women should appear to me empty handed. This is why he keeps saying, give me some food to eat as a pleasing aroma. When you read in Numbers 29 verse 12 to 40, it make it clear to you. He said, on the first day, this is what you do. And on the second day, this is what you do. On the third day, this is what you do. My Lord, my Lord. My God, my God. And what tabernacle is? Tabernacle Sokot is telling you Although you may be in a bad situation right now, you are still blessed. When I have chosen these people to be my own, the Israelites, they were living in tents. No indoor plumbing. They were living practically in misery. The Lord has to shield them from the sun. The Lord has to shield them and give them light during the night. Put a pillar of fire at night on top of them to, to give them light. Now you have indoor plumbing, you have your light, you can just flip the switch. And, uh, you know, they were living in the desert like that. Imagine the sun beating down on them. If God didn't provide the cloud to shelter them, to help them. 
Now you may complain, oh, oh yeah, I only have I only have ten dollars in my bank account. These people, some of them, they did not have a bank account at all. <laughs> and then any man, think about it. You are blessed already. But God said He's going to bless you even more. Remember the prediction and the prophecy for the month of October. Honor, riches, and joy shall be yours if you do celebrate the Feast of Tabernacle the correct way. You repent during Yom Kippur and by Monday you start feasting. God wants you to be joyous. You, you will be so sure of your salvation, of your practically riches coming your way that you you will have nothing else to do but celebrate said god you mean i have better days ahead of me <laughs> that's what i'm going to say on on monday <laughs> 6 a.m god you mean i have better days oh i'm going to celebrate you my lord and at Lord Jesus' house of prayer, we will host a dinner, not on Monday, I think we will do that uh, on Friday, uh, next week. And, uh, you know, for what? To celebrate, to enter the joy, honor, riches, and joy shall be yours. If you do the penitent work, if you celebrate, the Feast of Tabernacle correctly. Like I said, you do not need to send an offering to Lord Jesus' house of prayer. You can give it to your church if you want. You can support your church if you want. It will be nice if you choose to send an offering to Lord Jesus' house of prayer. I will pray for you, present it to the Lord, and even send you a word from your God. Hallelujah. And a lot of people will get hint of what is going to happen in their lives during the year 2023. Amen and amen. Good news for the righteous and bad news for the wicked. If you are wicked or you find yourself unrighteous, guess what? It is still time for you. I must tell you right now to be aware during the feast of celebration for seven days you are going to celebrate but remember October 12 uh, October 12 which will be uh, the 17th day of Etanim this is when the ark of Noah you know rested on Mount Ararat the Lord wants you if you start celebrating and yet you do not find peace, you are going to say a special prayer on October 12. You know, if you do not find your rest in God, that's what I'm saying. If you do not find your rest in God that day, and you feel like you are in, a, in, a, in an ark, you know, walking around, in a boat, walking around, walking you, and you don't feel stabilized. You said, God, I feel I'm celebrating, but my heart is not at peace. And I do not find rest. Give me rest, O oh Lord. Give me rest, O oh Lord. Give me my peace, O oh Lord. You, the same way you allow the ark of Noah, Noah's ark, to find rest. Give me my rest. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. Remember to do that prayer. Remember on Monday, you are going to start celebrating with a prayer. If you can, I will start at 6 a.m. Oh, yeah. Actually, the Sabbath will open on Sunday night. Again, will be another Sabbath for us. And October 10th will be the 15 days. And we will end the Sabbath at 6 p.m. also. 
my brothers, my sisters, great occasion to be right with the Lord. The Lord said it will bless you this year with honor, riches, and joy. All you have to do is raise your hand and, you know, do the penitent work. If you are not right with God, this is the time to make it right. And the Lord is inviting you to His tabernacle. Be blessed. May your family be transformed. Fathers, this is the time to have a meeting on Monday and explain to your family the significance of these things. You will say unto them, this is the time, this is the time when God, you know, you know, is blessing people. He's blessing people. And tell them to make the change and repent and receive their blessing. I leave you with this word. Listen to it again. You know, blow the shofar in your house. Pray with your family and you will see the difference by this time next year. Be blessed. Enter the holiness of your God. I say these things in Jesus' name. Amen.